Y'all, that's crazy. Everybody's trying out the demon. 170. 1.6 seconds. Man, y'all know how to drive that car. They don't know how to drive. I was just playing. Let's get into it, y'all. Hit that like button, subscribe if you're new. This one of the ones right here. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Because they ain't spinning, so they win. Mm hmm. Okay. So we got um, vehicle virgins. <laughs> Zero to sixty miles per hour in the one point six seconds. And testing out how quick the Dodge Demon one seventy actually is. Okay. Okay. Can't wait to drive one of them things, man. I ain't gonna lie to you. Chad thing. Look, look, look. This is the Demon one seventy, and it's the Race quickest car. production car in the world. Yes, that's right. It does zero to sixty in one point six six seconds which makes it quicker than a Tesla Plaid and even the multi-million dollar Reebok Nevera. So, what is the Demon 170 actually like to drive? Does it still truly reach 1.66 seconds to 60 on the street, or was that just a fluke, one in a million with perfect condition? Going down here, you might hit 1.2. <laughs> <laughs> well, today, we're going to test out both of those. Under the hood of the Demon 170 is a 6.2-liter supercharged V8 making 1,025 horsepower and 945 pound-feet of torque. Now, it's not just a souped-up Demon engine with some different tuning. In fact, really, the only similarities are the crankshaft. We've got upgraded pistons, upgraded rods. We've even got a three liter supercharger, brand new for the car, so it can withstand that ridiculous horsepower gain. Can we actually do zero to 60 in 1.66 seconds? Let's find out. Let's do a series of launch controls and see what the best zero to 60 time we can achieve on the street with the Demon 170. Go, go. You ain't in the paddles. Okay, alright, alright. Alright, see. Who's that time? Everybody tell me. Damn. Ooh, you heard that. Power. Honestly, the traction control did a fantastic job at mitigating wheel spin, and we've got some really cool technology with the trans brake in the performance pages that I'll show you in a bit. But let's see. Don't put what your is the best zero to 60 now. time I achieved so far? So we're going into the performance pages, and we are looking <laughs> the best yet 3.3 seconds. Not bad. Yeah, you got to ease on it, man. Don't be, don't be just stepping on it with that. You're going to spin out first. You got to ease on that thing. That's mm -hmm. almost right. double 1.66 <laughs> seconds. So the answer is, obviously, I could get a little bit better of a launch out of this thing, but on the street, you'd be lucky to get better than 2.7 seconds. You're going to need a fully prepped drag strip with a perfect launch, perfect DA, really warmed up tires, maybe even tire warmers to achieve that 1.66 seconds. So if you're racing off the stoplight, probably don't race a Tesla Plaid or a Porsche Turbo S because nine times out of 10, you probably are going to lose. But after that, the acceleration is... Who's still in the inside? I ain't buying that. <laughs> absolutely mind-boggling in this thing. So what is the Demon 170? Well, it's the final of the last fall dodges. Where does the 170 come from? Well, 170 proof equates to 85% alcohol, which is in reference to E85, the fuel that this runs on. E85 you can get at many local gas stations, and that brings the power up to 1,025 horsepower and 945 pound-feet of torque. Now, if you run it I'll on it 91 or 93, <laughs> you're getting 900 horsepower and 810 pound-feet of torque. Which begs the question, can you compare this car's speed to every other street car when every car other than a Koenigsegg with a power upgrade is running 91 or 93 gas and this is running on E85. I go back and forth on that, honestly, because this is from the factory. You can go ahead and take it to the gas station. And they've got this flex fuel technology, which is really cool. It doesn't matter if you've got eight gallons of 91, 
If you want to put E85 in the car, the computer system will adjust the power, adjust the timing to make sure that the engine is just right performance-wise for the mix of E85 and 91. So you don't have to drain it all the way and then go to the gas station and fill up on E85. So the future going to be fire. You know what I'm saying? And they keep all this nice technology and nice stability and big wheels and all of that. Ooh, that's going to be nice. Okay. Although if you do so, that will give you the most amount of power. The Demon 170 has a factory option for a parachute. Now, technically, the car can't legally be delivered to customers with the parachute, but you can go to Dodge's Direct Connection website, which is basically Dodge's parts, and buy a parachute to put on the back of your 170 Yay. from the factory. The reason being is, technically, per NHRA rules, this car is illegal because it has to have a parachute if it runs under a nine second quarter mile or over 150 miles an hour. And this runs an 8.9 second quarter mile at 151 miles an hour in perfect conditions, which breaks both of those rules. So you need a parachute. The other that's crazy it. thing about the Demon 170 is it comes with only one seat. Yes, that's right. From the factory, all you get is the driver's seat. You have to opt. You only got 150? What? You know how many cars going? <laughs> they gotta go faster than that. Ain't no way. <laughs> in for two thousand dollars, yeah, the passenger seat and that, the right? rear seat. Honestly, I think it's kind of <laughs> insane that you have to pay two thousand dollars <laughs> to have somebody sit next to you, but not as insane as this next option. If you want a sunroof, which doesn't really make any sense in a drag car, you want it to be as light as possible, putting the center of mass up here, increasing it, going upwards, because you have a big, heavy sunroof, doesn't really make a whole lot of sense. Well, Dodge is charging $10,000 for it. Sam, mm. Hey, I don't know, man. On Grand, on Grand Theft Auto, when we had some sunroof, and sometimes when we had stuff on the top, sometimes it helped out with that weight. Keep it down, the car down, so it won't lift up in the air. So sometimes that, that kind of help out. So that sunroof probably would probably help out. <laughs> yeah, I know what I'm talking about. Hey, if you know, you know. All that stuff help out, man. Anything that's going to keep it down on the ground, it's going to keep it aerodynamic. Mm -hmm. But overall, I still need more top speed. If it ain't got the top speed, it just ain't going to. You see what I'm saying? If you can't hit 220, yeah. Bugattis, all of that. It's just going to dust past you. Lamborghinis is, you know. <laughs> so, it's like it's. Uh, now they gave an interesting a explanation in show. a Jay Leno's garage video. That's because they lose money on every single carbon fiber wheel package that they sell because they don't directly manufacture the carbon fiber wheels or purchasing them circuits. from another company. It's an eleven thousand five hundred dollar option. Now, Dodge explains that because the carbon fiber lips are in carbon, the barrels are obviously not in carbon, the center of gravity of the wheel is close to the center of the wheel, which allegedly allows it to spin faster and achieve a 60-foot time of just 1.2 seconds, which is unbelievably impressive. But because they have to buy the parts from somebody else, even though they're charging $11,500, they're losing money on each set of wheels, so they're trying to recoup some of the costs with a ridiculous $10,000 option. <laughs> now, another one of the coolest features of this car is how <laughs> the Generation 2 trans brake works. Now, check this out. As you can see on the screen, my best 0-60 to 60 time was 3.3 seconds. With the previous owner, the best time was 4.8 seconds. So clearly, even though he's had the car for a bit, it's very hard to achieve that 1.66 seconds. Now, if we go down here, you'll see a series of buttons. We've got the SRT watch. button. That'll bring up different driving watch. modes mm. that you can choose from, as well as a really cool mode called the chiller. If you activate the ah. chiller, it actually uses the vehicle's air conditioning to cool the intercooler for the supercharger in order to feed cooler air into the engine, which I think is really cool. Then, of course, we have a launch button down here. But check this out. When we click trans brake, up on the screen pops this really cool graph. And the trans brake actually allows you to dial in the torque every tenth of a second over time. C is a preset mode in case you're on a slippery surface. So you can see the blue line is the maximum available torque. Looks like about 900. B gives you a little bit more of an aggressive launch. And then A, check this out, 
It's saying we can go all the way up to 1,100 pound-feet of torque within 0.1 seconds after the launch. Hmm. You can also change the launch RPM right there, but the level of customizability here is right. really, really cool that you can change all that over time. We can also adjust the launch control settings right here, which is neat as well. Now, on the outside, there's a few key ways to differentiate the Demon 170 from a standard Demon or just a normal Hellcat. The easiest way to tell is they've gotten rid of the flared fenders in the front, but they've kept them in the rear. The reason being is Dodge saves 16 pounds by getting rid of the front fender flare. It also means you can- Any help I go through the air? Just let y'all know. <laughs> Cause I'm fender fares, man, they be, they be holding the car down. So then, and it can turn better. Mm -hmm. Without all that extra whiff in the front, just in the back. So I can grip. They did good on this one, man, for sure. You can put narrower tires in the front without making the wheel gap look crazy because you don't need all that traction in the front. In the this back. vehicle isn't meant for going around turns. It's meant for going in a straight line as fast as possible. Now, the reason that saving weight up front is very important is because like off the line, one. it needs like that weight transfer from the front to the rear to load up those rear tires and launch itself off the line. Now, speaking of rear tires, it's got 18-inch wheels in the front, 245 section, but in the rear, it actually has smaller 17-inch wheels with 315 section tires. That bigger sidewall allows for more compression and more traction off the line. They also had to revise the suspension to handle that weight transfer. Man, you buy this car, you gotta go ahead and buy like two more sets of wheels from front and back because you don't want no flats or nothing. You can't find them tires. You ain't gonna be able to just find them tires like that. So you might go ahead and get a couple more sets because that's crazy. I'm just looking at the tires like, yeah, you can't just go to a regular shop and be like, yo, let me get some Mickey tops and then they're going to be like, uh, give us about a week or two. Like, you got to go ahead and add them tires, man. <laughs> as well as beef up like, the drive shaft so that it didn't explode upon launch. That's the easiest way to tell. Then if you look closer, the massive scoop that rams air into that intake, sucks it into the engine. No, it actually has that. something that says alcohol injected on it, a little logo. That's a nod to E85. Now, if you look at the side, okay. which is a little bit more subtle, but if you know what you're looking for, it's really not that subtle at all, you'll see the demon emblem, but the eye of the demon is yellow. That's because E85 is created from corn, and corn is yellow. It also says 170 right below the demon badge, so that's a little bit corn. of an easy to tell. <laughs> if you're really astute, you can see if they've auctioned those $11,500 carbon fiber wheels. But other than that, it does pretty much look like a standard Hellcat or a Demon. Now, it starts at a- I ain't gonna lie, I badge and I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> Base price of $96,666, the 666, because it is a demon. <laughs> Getting it for that is difficult. The owner of this car, I've got to give a huge shout out to OC Motivator for making this video possible. I've got a link in the description to his YouTube channel as well as his Instagram, so make sure to give him a follow because this thing is absolutely epic. He's got a cool YouTube channel nice dedicated to these cars, and I hear he's just... Right, nice car. I right, see y'all on the next one. Right? That was a good one. Thanks for your cool version for the video, man. Keep them coming. They always driving the best cars, the fastest cars. I ain't gonna lie. Make sure y'all subscribe to his channel. We out. Peace.